In the summer of 1950 at the Los Alamos National Laboratory, renowned quantum physicist Enrico Fermi posed a question that would echo through the tendrils of history. Where is everybody? It all started when Fermi and his colleagues were discussing a New Yorker cartoon featuring aliens joyfully emerging from a flying saucer. Little did he know that this simple inquiry would give rise to what we now know as the Fermi Paradox, a topic that continues to captivate scientists and researchers even today. But what exactly is the Fermi Paradox, you might wonder? Over the past seven decades, this paradox has become a hotly debated subject, with dissenting voices and conflicting interpretations clouding the discourse. Some argue that it is not truly a paradox, while others claim it has already been resolved long, long ago. Amidst all this confusion, it becomes essential to delve into the nuances of the Fermi paradox, its history, its multiple versions, and its implications for our quest to find extraterrestrial life in the vast universe. To understand the Fermi paradox, we need to retrace our steps back to Fermi's original question, where is everybody? However, when isolated from its context, this question is often misconstrued as referring to the eerie silence we encounter in our search for extraterrestrial life. Indeed, for the past five to six decades, our primary scientific efforts have been focused on detecting artificial radio signals from alien civilizations, but unfortunately, without any definitive success. However, it is crucial to remember that in 1950, when Fermi posed this question, serious radio searches were in their infancy and the scientific community had not yet conducted extensive investigation. Fermi's question, in its true context, revolved around the possibility of alien visitation, an aspect often overlooked in discussions surrounding the Fermi paradox. Moreover, the label paradox itself is subject to debate, as it implies a logical contradiction, but such a contradiction only arises from accepting specific assumptions. If one rejects the assumption of visiting aliens, as Fermi himself concluded, then the paradox dissipates. Nevertheless, the term paradox persists, serving as a useful tool to challenge these assumptions and fuel scientific inquiry. Returning to the question of what the Fermi paradox truly encompasses, we encounter a lack of clarity and room for interpretation. Did Fermi imagine visitation to include alien satellites, distant observers, or artifacts scattered across celestial bodies? Alternatively, was it limited to the scenario of aliens landing their spacecraft in broad daylight and interacting with our world? Determining the scope of Fermi's question becomes crucial in understanding the assumptions that underlie the Fermi paradox and the subsequent avenues for exploration. This lack of specificity in Fermi's original query leads to a divergence, giving rise to two distinct versions of the Fermi paradox, a direct and indirect version. The indirect Fermi paradox focuses on the apparent contradiction between the absence of evidence for alien activity and our assumption that aliens exist and occasionally engage in activities that should leave observable traces. This version encompasses experiments such as radio searches, optical transmissions, surveys for Dyson spheres, and other means of detecting alien presence. However, this indirect paradox is often criticized for the numerous explanations it allows, as the absence of evidence does not necessarily mean the absence of alien civilization. It leaves room for possibilities such as the aliens being too far away, using different communication methods, or simply being uninterested in contact with us. On the other hand, the direct Fermi paradox addresses the question of why we haven't encountered any physical evidence of alien visitation or artifacts. This version of the paradox focuses on the idea that if technologically advanced alien civilizations existed and were capable of interstellar travel, we should have observed some form of direct contact or evidence by now. This includes the absence of alien probes, spacecraft, or any trace of their activities within our solar system or on Earth. The direct Fermi paradox raises thought-provoking questions about the feasibility of interstellar travel, the likelihood of technological civilizations existing simultaneously, and the potential impact of advanced civilizations on cosmic scales. 
It also prompts discussions about the so-called Great Filter Hypothesis, which suggests that there might be some fundamental barrier or challenge that prevents civilizations from progressing to the point of becoming detectable by us. So, what is the solution to this paradox questioned by humanity for centuries? There are several. One, rare Earth hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that Earth-like planets capable of supporting complex life may be rare in the universe. If Earth is indeed unique in its ability to foster intelligent life, the absence of other civilizations becomes more understandable. Two, self-destruction. It is possible that advanced civilizations reach a point where they destroy themselves through war, technological mishaps, or other catastrophic events. This would explain the absence of observable extraterrestrial civilizations. 3. Interstellar travel challenges. The vast distances between stars present significant challenges for interstellar travel. The energy requirements, technological limitations, and time constraints involved in traversing such vast distances may make interstellar travel impractical or unfeasible, even if other civilizations have technology far more advanced than ours. 4. Quiet or isolated civilizations. It is possible that advanced civilizations exist but choose to remain hidden or isolate themselves for various reasons. They might have advanced methods of communication that we are unaware of or prioritize their own survival and development over interaction with other civilizations. Perhaps they have decided to not venture out into the unknown vastness of space. Think about it. If you saw a dark forest but saw no creatures or heard no sound, would you still choose to walk through completely alone? 5. Simulation Hypothesis This intriguing hypothesis suggests that we could be living in a simulated reality created by an even more advanced civilization. If this were true, it would mean that the lack of direct evidence is a deliberate design feature of our simulated existence. After all, why does our universe have rules? Our universe's strict laws of physics seems eerily similar to those in a video game. If you were a character in a computer game, you would probably discover eventually that the rules seemed completely rigid and mathematical. In this theory, the speed of light, the fastest rate at which any particle can travel, represents the speed limit for transmitting information within the network of our simulation. It's important to note that these explanations are speculative and not yet supported by substantial evidence. The Fermi paradox remains an open question in the search for extraterrestrial life challenging our assumptions and inspiring ongoing scientific inquiry. As our technology and understanding of the universe continue to advance, we may eventually find answers or encounter new surprises that shed light on the existence and whereabouts of other intelligent civilizations. Are we bound for self-destruction and nuclear conflict, or can we pave a different path for our civilization's future? What if our culture and technology not only stop progressing, but start regressing? How can we prevent such a scenario? Will machines eventually surpass and replace us, or can we shape a future where humans and machines coexist harmoniously? As we ponder the future, we realize that nothing lasts forever. How do we make the most of our finite time while striving for a better tomorrow? When will our story come to an end? Whether it's tomorrow or in a trillion years, how can we make our time count? Among the profound questions we face, where does the existence of life in the universe rank for you? Could it be our defining mission? Let's collaborate in pursuit of this mission so that when our journey comes to a close, we can find solace in knowing we achieved our extraordinary task. Until we meet again, let's stay engaged, inquisitive, and open-minded. Thank you for watching Oberon Labs and subscribe to expand your mind one universe at a time.